Right, we're set up here to do a beautiful backlit shot. And I've got amazing windows, as you can see, so no shortage of light, which is perfect. Whenever I'm doing a backlit shot, I set up with a beautiful piece of white seamless and a big reflector to bounce some light back in. I wanna get a perfectly exposed frame of Belinda, but then I also wanna do a slightly underexposed version and make it more silhouetted to really shape the, the body here. But when it comes to positioning her, because that light's coming in this way, if I have her position front onto the camera, we're gonna lose a lot of that shape. So if we turn side onto the light, now that light's gonna come through and it's really gonna define the shape of her beautiful body. So with hand placement and things like that, you can, you know, you can continue to put the hands in the same place. You can really mix it up. So what I'm gonna do this time is just have her bring her hands up and, and rest them up towards your, that's it, towards your shoulder. But it's important to make sure that the hands look nice and comfortable because if you have them kind of too bent over or too stiff, it can look awkward and be quite distracting in the photograph. So we want them to look nice and soft and relaxed, nothing too sort of jarring. And what I want you to do is bring that foot forward again for me. Yep, that's it. And up onto those toes. Gorgeous. And now we can really start to see all those beautiful triangles. And just turn a little more that way for me. And this is where I'm going to get my perfectly exposed frame and really blow out that background. And then when I do my silhouette, what I'm going to do is have you turn a little more side on here. And what we might do is change the hands up, bring your hands, and I want you to bring that one all the way to your back and pushing your lower back as far forward as you can. <laughs> and then drop this hand maybe all the way down the side here. Yeah, no, just drop it down beside you, that's it. And then bringing that foot up again. And then you're creating some more triangles. So once I'm behind the camera over there, I'll be able to give a little bit more direction. But I really want to use the light to highlight the shape of her body. You look gorgeous. Okay, so I'm on the other side of my reflector. And what I'm going to do now is talk Belinda through the, the pose and explain, you know, where to put her hands and where to turn. It's really important that that direction is continually given because they don't know what looks good, they don't know how they look, and you want to make them feel really comfortable and let them know that they're doing the exact right thing. And that'll make them nice and relaxed. So I want you to bring that elbow, the arm closest to me, up towards your shoulder and then bring your other hand over. Beautiful. Then just turn a little more towards that window so you're a bit more square on. Gorgeous. Now you can really see the outline of her beautiful body. And then bring your ankles together. That's it. And then lift that toe up as high as you can. And just relax your shoulders. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm shooting this. It's all white, so I want to overexpose the background, but expose the skin and not overexpose. Hang on, get my focal point right. There we go. I'm going to focus on the eye. So I'm shooting two, thir two stops overexposed at 2.8. Beautiful. Just making sure with my histogram that I'm not overexposing any of that white lace. We can keep all the detail and texture in it. And chin down just a little bit, that's it. Beautiful. So I've, I've got a full length, and now I'm getting a beautiful close up, so it's just above the knee. Gorgeous. So to change this one up, I'm going to get her to pose slightly differently for um, a bit more of a silhouette type shot. So go um, square on again, that's it. And then I want you to bring your elbow back and put it in your hand in the back of your back like that. Yeah, and then try and just bring that elbow around as much as possible. I know it's a little difficult. And then bring your face towards the end of the room. That's it, gorgeous. And then chin down just a bit. Beautiful, and that knee up, that is stunning. those beautiful triangle shapes and the light just really highlighting her body. So I'm going to bring my exposure down. That's beautiful. So that there is a third of a stop overexposed. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. 
and that's really quick but gorgeous done <laughs> perfect throughout these videos you're going to see how i create beautiful simple elegant setups I'm going to show you how I pose my clients to make them look and feel comfortable. I'm going to go over camera angles and I'm also going to show you how I create beautiful lighting by directing it for every single setup. And we've got a beautiful background, we've got a beautiful dress and a beautiful model. So completely different result here in terms of the lighting. Just keep Sort of style of photo, I love it. It's a little bit towards me, beautiful. 